Here we go. Sound responsive video. Shall yeah, we? We shall. We have to get used to talking now. I know, right? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so the first one is going to be this how to just, for, we're going to build sound responsive videos, and that means we're going to build videos, we're going to build a video player that res, that uses the microphone input as its control source. Um, so stepping through a few things we're going to need on the way to to doing that, we're going to need to first uh, play a video full screen. So that means make the video fill the computer monitor with no menu bar and no dock or anything like that. So there's a trick for doing that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so I'm going to load up a video called Train Footage JPEG into JIT.movie here, and um, we'll uh, we'll control it with a Q Metro to play the play the frames back. And then uh, we can change the playback rate and the frame numbers, but let's just load it up here. So turn on the Q Metro to see the video. We have the video playing here. So here it's playing in a P window, patcher window, which I can squash and stretch and change the scale of. But that's fixed to the screen, uh, uh, to the to the patcher. In, that's fixed in position inside the patcher itself. If I make a JIT dot window. Uh, it can play, if I double click on this, it'll, you can see it makes an external window. I've just titled, uh, titled this window David. So one of the arguments you have to give it is the name of the window. If you don't, it'll just be some random string of characters. And then I've turned on interpolation here, which smooths, smooths out the video, make it look, makes it look a little nicer. And then this is very important here, FS menu bar zero. So FS menu bar is an argument for your JIT window that tells it whether or not to have full screen menu bar turned on or off. We want to turn it off, so I have F at FS menu bar zero here. Doing okay? You're doing great. Right. <clears throat> I don't really have anything to contribute. You're doing so well. All right, all right. So you can see it's appearing in both places here. So it's playing in the patcher window, but it's also playing in the full screen window. I could scale this up too. Um, <clears throat> so. How do we make this thing actually go full screen? Well, you have to send it the full screen message. Um, so if I sent it the message full screen one, so I could make a message box here that said, that's not, that's object. not, that's not, okay. That's normal. All right. Um, <laughs> full screen one, you, I could send it that and I could even connect it here, but when it goes full screen, I, I would have no way of getting out of full screen. So sometimes Max, you can sort of paint yourself into a corner and get into these weird situations. So like I could go full screen with this video, but then I would have no way of like, getting out es of it. escaping out of full screen. Right. right. So so what everybody does basically is they hook up the escape key, which is key number 27. So here I have the key object and then it select is listening for key 27. That fires fires off a toggle which is connected to the full screen message with a dollar sign one. So this is going to let you toggle in and out of full screen because the toggle key is going to create full screen zero and then full screen one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also gating that because we have a bunch of objects mm -hmm. that all use the escape key in so, this set of demos. So I'm going to interrupt yeah. here because uh, what he was just saying in terms of how the attribute down here in jit.window, he called it David. Um, and the reason that we're using the gate is because we have in our main patch over here several different videos that we're going to show and each of those is connected to its own version of this with a window and so they by giving it the name David it's going to differentiate that video from another one yeah. and that gate is now going to allow us to control just this video we're looking at right now yeah yeah because we have this whole cluster of demos that are all part of a single patch here. If you have a bunch of things that are all responding to the escape key, they're all gonna to respond to the escape key with, because they're all running right now. So we put in the gate here. So, all right, so let's look, open the gate. <clears throat> and then when I hit escape, this should go completely full screen. So let's see if it actually works, fingers crossed. Hey, there we go. So it's playing full screen, no, no menu. menu bar, <laughs> no dock. And it's got interpolation turned on, which makes it look nice and smooth. Um, Just could watch and, that for a yeah. long time. What else to sh talk about in this one? This is just basically how to make a video go full screen. Yeah. It's hard to 
describe painting yourself into a corner. Yeah. Most people will experience it. And the experience of it will be that you go full screen and then you realize there's Can't no way, there's it. no way to get out of full screen. Mm-hmm. And plenty of times I've had to like command Q and like just quit Max right. and, you know. and 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 if you're only using one patcher with one JIT window, you can surpass the gate altogether, and then your you know your full screen message can plug directly. Your patch cord can yeah. go directly into JIT dot movie. Yeah, typically you don't need the gate there. Right. Yeah. Okay. I think we're done. I think we're done. All right.